What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com, and we are doing some more Fallout Easter eggs. This is Beer, <laughs> Poker, and Fallout 3, which my, uh, uh, I thought you'd appreciate that, Jeff. Three of my favorite things. All right, so here we are. This is a uh, this is like a radio station kind of trapped over by uh, Good Springs, which is right near the beginning of the game. Is this Christian Slater's radio station? It is. Uh, he's got to gleam the cube over here. So uh, down on the ground, there's some writing on the wall, but down on the ground over here on our left side is the Wasteland Survival Guide. Dude, I helped make that book when I played Fallout 3. That's what 3. I understand. Now, I hear there's yeah. actually a few of them in the game, but uh, this right here at Lone Wolf can you Radio. Read them? Well, you can actually pick it up. Here, I'll show you here as soon as I uh, drop the map down. I'm showing you where it is. That you can actually pick up this this uh, Wasteland Survival Guide. Sweet. And then hit B on your Pip-Boy. Uh, hit it. There we go. And we're going to go over to Items and then go over to Aid and uh, scroll down to it. And we can actually read this and get ourselves a, a boost. Watch What's it. the boost? Is it the, a temporary boost or a permanent boost? It's a permanent boost. We're going to get, nice. I believe it's three Survival. Yep, survival increased by three. You can see it in the upper left corner. So there we go. So that's plus three. So it's a bonus and it's uh, or it's an it's an egg and a bonus. So you're an egg and a bonus. Hey, and this is in Freeside. This is the uh, the the school the King's School of Impersonation. This is where the kings hide out. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's a little like uh, I guess it's an Easter egg. Looks like a bunch of no good nicks. Yeah, these are all the the you know the kings the greasers the, <laughs> the socias and greasers. <laughs> and here, check it out. Look, they got a beer pong table. So oh, nice, dude. That's kind of cool. <laughs> So if you ever can you play, actually play? No, nah, you can't. That sucks. I don't know what's inside the desk too. I didn't open it. I, I rarely do anything the, that you're not supposed ping to do. Ping pong might have been inside of it. That's true. Or more alcohol, perhaps. Possibly. They had pitchers. <laughs> well, how do you know that was beer pong and not Kool Aid pong? It probably was Kool Aid pong. It's those a, guys could it's be a, those guys could be a uh, good nicks. <laughs> it's a tobacco <laughs> pipe. So this is the uh, Ruby Hill Mine. This is out by Vault Twenty Two, I believe it is. On oh, your way to the um, you know the dude in the the snow or whatever. But uh, anyway, inside here, there's a bunch of these lake lurks, uh -huh. and uh, you'll fight your way through them. They're pretty, they're pretty powerful, so be careful going in. And I have my rebreather from later in the game. That's why I'm able to swim underwater for a whole lot of time. But check it out. Under this water area is a game of poker. So do you think those monsters were playing poker? I don't know. They could have been humans playing poker. But I like that they're you know just skeletons and they're underwater. <laughs> like the water blew their skin off. And some beds that aren't floating to the top for some reason. Yeah, that, I guess they're uh, they're over encumbered. They have too much. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense. So it's right here. Uh, this is inside the mine. You can see where it is in that corner. And uh, that's pretty cool though. Can yeah. you tell who was winning? Uh, I actually look. One guy I think had a jack. One had a king. Nice. 